Scott Brown here. Welcome to another exciting episode. Remember how we were talking about Ray mountain biking? Well, he fell and severely hurt himself. How are you feeling, Ray? I'm fine. <laughs> if only Ray could show you his bruise, but it's not very appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were sliding, right? Yeah, my bike slid away and I fell on the end of my handlebar and it, it hit me in the groin. <laughs> and then my le leg, leg stopped working for three uh, three days. <laughs> and that was pretty much the same day or the day after I, I fell over and smashed my arm on the skate ramp. So there's something in the air right now. I see a very exciting um, giveaway uh, coming up. Maybe the comment number 100 gets this light. <laughs> this here is going to be a toilet. Right now it's the big old school laundry. They used to have big laundries because they had big washing machines and tubs. Now you can kind of fit it in a cupboard which is what we've done. Kitchen, work in progress, and our laundry is behind here. And that's why we're able to chuck the toilet in here. So the window only needs to be yay wide and right now it's yay wide. So we're taking it out. It's working. For some of the European viewers out there, you might be surprised that this is a fairly common window in New Zealand. That's it. And you can open it up like that to vent. And that's it, that's your exterior wall. And that has been in most of the houses I've lived in. Here we go. Reeded glass. So this is the same argon filled double layer, double glazing. Layer on both sides with the argon filled gap in the middle. And that argon gap is a little bit smaller than is ideal. I think it's like eight mil, maybe a bit more than that. And that has to be that thin because we're retrofitting timber windows. So we've done this window in keeping with the old. So when it's all done, it all match. I don't know how private that is. Can you see me? Can you see me? So that's the new window opening, huh? Uh, yeah. Wow. It is. Taller and skinnier. Are you talking about me? Oh my god. This is awesome. You want Trying to retrofit uh, aluminium tape. It's always harder. That's what it's all about, right? Helping yeah. each other out. <laughs> so this here is a sill tray and it was made to prevent damage on your wall frame and cladding. So these old timber windows, when they don't get maintained and they start to leak, water gets through the cracks and sort of sits underneath on the framing. It's got nowhere to go. You put it in, Nice and level, you leave a 5mm gap between the tray itself and the window and then in theory any water that gets past the window hits the tray and escapes out the cladding. Miles off. It's totally off center. We have to move it all. Curtains are arriving tomorrow, so I thought I'd 
leave it till today to put the window jams and window architraves on. If tomorrow is not the due date, today is not the due date. You right, Jess? Yes. I'm just um, putting this smoothie, which looks disgusting by the way, it's not, it tastes really nice, um, to take away because it's, oh God, it's half past 12. I haven't eaten, you haven't eaten yet today. And we've been rushing around all morning just trying to organize stuff. You know, I've noticed there's a few comments who will say, oh, you're moving really slow or you don't get very much done. Honestly, that's just because there's so much time wasted just trying to like figure things out. I think this is a problem with being, in like, Scotty's case, the project manager and the main builder, sometimes the only builder, and also the client who's making all the decisions. Like, to get and you. the cameraman. And the cameraman. <laughs> the director. And to borrow a filming term, the talent. <laughs> yeah, so hey, like, We've spent a big part of the morning just like trying to plan, figure out how to use our time in the best way, what are we doing? And then now we're like, okay, Scotty needs to build this windowsill, let's go get the timber. So our option is drive all around to all the merchants trying to get a price, which is a waste of time. So we tried calling them. We called one merchant, we got through to someone who couldn't help us, so they transferred us to someone else who couldn't help us. So then she transferred us into the yard, and then the guy in the yard said, I can't help you, I'm lifting timber into a back of a car, I can't access prices. So transferred us back to the middle person who said, I don't have access to that, I'll see if I can transfer you to someone else, who then we just went straight to voicemail. So that was like a good seven to ten minutes of it's just like Kafka. nothing. Yeah. And that's just, you know, one thing. And so that's why today's lunch, today's first meal, is the most hideous looking grey slush while we drive around trying to find affordable timber. I love the Toyota Ray. This van I haven't used for over a month. Cobwebs all over it. Starts first time. Well, it might look horrible, but it tastes delicious. What's in it anyway? It's fruit <laughs> and spirulina. <laughs> hey, Mark, are you available? Oh, that's a bit of a David Bowie. Maybe we'll get some more on that one. Love it. Thank you. And I'll chuck it back in the back of that one for you. Yeah, cheers. So that's all the architrave and jams, but I want something that isn't pine for the windowsill. The windowsill is going to be nice and wide and it's going to be near the sitting area, so it's probably going to be used like a side table, coffee table kind of thing. So I want it to be a bit more durable. So we're going to go to a second hand place now that we go to quite often it turns out because they have a lot of uh, reclaimed timber. Okay, so we need something long and something wide for the sill but whenever we need some sort of Rimu or native timber this is where we go because it's close by and they get it all from places that they demolish. Alright, so I found the timber that I wanted. They had it. Um, but I couldn't get it because their forklift was busy. So they're gonna give me a call, give me a text when the forklift's ready and they've got the timber down. In the meantime, let's go cut some jams. So this is all rough cut. Now we just need to get more specific sizes, including thicknesses, because this is just standard timber. It comes in, what, 19 mil, I'm pretty sure. But I want to rip it down a little bit more because I don't want to overlap my window sashes too much. Table saw stopped working. I don't think this week is our week. Well, the lights are on, so the power hasn't completely tripped, although that's kind of loose. So that was popped out, and I just had to push it back in. What happened? Oh, uh, the table saw got overloaded and it stopped working. Well, you just press this? Yeah. Ah, oh, that was easy. Building your website's easy, with Squarespace. <laughs>
Yes, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform where you can build a website and stand out and succeed online. Squarespace is super useful if you're selling a product or you're selling a service. It's great to have a place online where you can showcase what you do and their galleries are perfect for that. They have a bunch of portfolio designs and gallery designs to choose from. They also have great templates to choose from as well. And all you have to do is drag and drop your information into those templates and you can make it your own. And if you really want to get into search optimization, SEO tools, etc., they have that built in as well. You can even get your own custom domain name all inside Squarespace. But you don't have to believe me because Squarespace also offer a free trial, so you have nothing to lose. When you're ready to launch your own website, make sure you go to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry and then you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So full depth rip cut without a rip blade. If I'm being fair to the table saw, I am asking quite a bit. But still I am surprised. The pine's quite soft. Now the only reason I ripped down three mil off the face of this is so I don't have to plane so much. This thing goes about a half a millimeter at a time. We got new curtains. I was just making a video to put in the family group message. Yeah. Show my mum and my sister. You really happy with them? I'm so happy. Really, really happy. And my sister and my mum love them too, which is nice. Very good. And I've also sent um, a video message to my two best mates. <laughs> so yes, I am excited. I got the window so. I do like how excited Jess is about the curtains. I'm excited too. They look, they look fantastic. But they're gonna look a lot better when I finish this window frame. I have um, cut and primed all the jams and architraves. And now I just need to cut the sill out of this piece of Rimu here. I mean, look at this stuff. It's borderline criminal to be painting it. But I didn't get it for the look. I got it for its more durable qualities compared to pine. So we just need to rip the tongue here off because this is actually a floorboard. And then, uh, ready to mark up. Alright, so what do you think? We could leave it Remo or we could paint it. It's a shame that I'm... Um, We're gonna paint it? It's not all gonna be Remo. Yeah, but that would have been, I mean, that was $140 for that one piece. Was it? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! So imagine all the timber that I need for the rest. It would be quite an expensive window. What is it my uncle always says? Nothing's ever easy. <laughs> um, no, yeah, that would have been way too much money. But what about all these notches on it? Well, yeah, so this, I think, used to be a joist. And those would have been the floorboard nails going in. Yeah, that's a hard one because it is cool. But then I also, it does look cool. I think and it needs, I think we should paint it. Yeah, I hate to say I think we should too. Anyway, we can't have the timber taking away from the star of the show. <laughs> oh my God, my jump is the same color as the curtains. Doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right at all.
So there's an added benefit to adding these extra jams on the windows, and that is we can get a weather seal in here. So on the table saw, I ran the edges of the jam liner about six mil deep and just the blade thickness, and that was a perfect little slot to put this in. I've been using this around the house as we've been putting the jams on, and I think it does a good job. So you literally just push it in, and it holds itself in there. Oh yeah, hear that seal? Hey Mary! Hey, hello. Hey buddy, welcome, welcome. What have we just cut? Here, here, bottom. There, there, and here and here. And, and then move then. it like an H. I thought the same. It's only you fuck up if you can't fix it. Absolutely. How'd you feel at the end of the day when I text you? Uh, it was confusing. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, where did it go wrong, right? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I mean, I knew I fell off my bike, but you know, <laughs> I thought it was only my leg. But I mean, everyone knows that the yeah. brains are in their groin. Oh, hi there. Hey. The hundred mil trick. The hundred mil. I think I kept my tape on a hundred, and then oh, to be more accurate. Yeah, and then <laughs> I completely forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> because it was only like half a second later, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably that kind of like precariously. Look at that! A rock. Well done, Raymond. Well, not there yet, but... Close enough. I moved it. I used your marks this time. Oh! Yeah. Funny that. So, when uh, when it's wrong uh, tonight, just send yourself a text, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Scott got a 10% discount on his uh, timber. <laughs> yeah, just using what's left, okay? This stuff costs a lot. Please support us on Patreon. <laughs> Looks great. You know, sometimes we start those jobs, but halfway through you realize you're not prepared for this. <laughs> but now you have to keep going. Because otherwise it'll be half finished forever. Because there's no way I can motivate myself to do this again. Hey, speaking of motivation, we're, we had a hard time in getting timber and all the rest of it, but we got there in the end. We did. The windows framed up. Yeah, yeah that's part of the reason I, it's nice to be in the garden. Although I have had an epiphany, if you will, oh, yeah? um, and about me and gardening. Yeah. I realize I'm actually much more of a perfectionist with this than I am with the reno. And I think it's because you can't both be over the top about the house. That's your job. <laughs> I've been getting quite stressed out about the garden. You've been overthinking it? Yeah, well, I'm just getting things wrong. And I've actually deleted Instagram for many reasons. But one of them is I just started getting really stressed out about the garden stuff. I was following so many people and they post so many different things. And after a while, it was just overwhelming. Huh. Like one well, moment like, you're watching a video and someone's saying, hey, you should, you know, save all your cardboard from landfill, sheet mulch the garden, the worms love it. I'm like, awesome, we've got heaps of cardboard, you know, I didn't use any plasticky stuff. And then a couple of weeks ago, all these videos are cropping up saying, ah, oh, all you Instagram fools who sheet mulch your gardens, don't you know you've put forever chemicals in your soil, now you're going to die. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I, I, honestly, I've just stopped going to Instagram for... I've learned a lot, 
But now I ask my neighbors who are in their 70s and have been gardening their whole lives, and I just figure it out myself. I actually think that all this gardening has been teaching me to be not so, such a perfectionist, to just uh, let it go. Because at the end of the day, Act is gonna do what it's gonna do. Uh, yeah, I can learn from that too. Yeah, I think everyone probably could. Anyway, I gotta finish this, otherwise, there's no way I'll ever be able to motivate myself to do it again.